Hi everyone, welcome to this two-part series where we'll be looking at how to access a wide range of market data using Polygon's APIs and JavaScript. Polygon is a financial data platform that provides both real-time and historical market data for stocks, options, indices, forex, and crypto. There are many API endpoints which offer quick and easy access to all types of market data. The really neat thing here is that you can programmatically access all this using your favorite programming language. We have great documentation for both the REST API along with streaming data via a WebSocket. There's also a bunch of pre-built client libraries, and today we'll be focusing on JavaScript. Let's look at the documentation for a moment. So to access the APIs, you'll need to authenticate with a key. But first, over here on the left-hand side, you can access all sorts of market data, reference data, and real-time streaming data. For the demos today, we're going to focus on stocks. But the same workflow applies across a wide range of financial instruments. So you should have no problem using what you learned today in other areas. To access any of these APIs using JavaScript, we have an official client library. If you scroll down here, you can see it's easy to install using the npm command. Then here's what an example script might look like. First, you'll import the client, you'll authenticate with your key, and then you'll call whatever functions you're interested in. For example, maybe you want daily aggregate bars, or maybe you want to get the last trade or the last quote. Or maybe you want to get a market-wide snapshot across all tickers. So let's hop over to the command line and actually see this in action. First, let's verify we have npm installed, and then node. Next, let's run the npm command to install the JavaScript API client. So that's it for the setup side of things. I've cloned the JavaScript client repo here since there is a bunch of examples. Let's open up the stock aggregates bar example and walk through it. So the first thing you see is we're importing our client. Next, we need to authenticate. You can do that by adding your API key. Then down here, we're using our client to get some aggregate bars for Apple, one per day. And then you can set up a date range here. This is daily right now, but you could easily set this to hourly or minute aggregates. Aggregates are the typical open, high, low, close type data that you often see when you're creating visualizations and things like that. So to actually run this, we'll need an active API key. To do that, let's jump back to the Polygon website. I'll show you the pricing page here to give you a quick overview of what this looks like, but you could also click the Get Free API Key button. So there's a few different options depending on what your needs are. There are also enterprise plans for commercial use. So let's click Sign Up here for the free plan. I'll just enter a test email and password. Then pretty much instantly, we're in our new account. If you scroll down a little here, you'll see the key that we need to copy. I'll copy that and head back over to our editor. I'm gonna paste that key in here, and then we'll save the file. All right, so we should have everything set up now. We have the client JS package installed via NPM. We have a working key, and we have a lot of demo scripts. So let's run that aggregate bars example here and see what happens. And just like that, we get some stock market data back, which could be rolled into some type of visualization tool. So let's try a few more examples. Maybe you're interested in getting the last trade price. So let's open up that example and take a look. You'll notice a familiar pattern here. We initialize the client. I'll paste in my key again, and then we'll make the request. So let's jump back to the command line and run it. Great, so we got the last trade for Apple. How about the last quote? It's the same pattern. I'll open up the example. I'll paste in my key. You can see the function here where we request the last quote. Then let's jump back to the command line. Then we'll run it. It's pretty easy, right? So that's great for single stocks, but maybe you're interested in getting a wider view of what's happening across the entire stock market. We offer something called market snapshots, and I'll show you the example here. This enables you to see the last trade, the last quote, the previous close, and percentage change values, amongst other data. The pattern's the same. You know, we initialize the client. I'll paste in my key again here. And then you can see we're making our request. These type of snapshots are really useful for getting a point in time view of what's happening across the entire stock market. This snapshot accesses over 11,000 tickers. So let's run it and see what happens. Great. So this could be really useful for getting the latest prices across a bunch of tickers, finding trending stocks, building your own market scanner, or a bunch of other cool use cases. I know what we've covered here are pretty simple examples, but it proves our setup is working. As you can see, there's lots of different example code snippets here for you to try, and they offer great starting points. All right, so thanks for watching, and in the next part, we'll dive deeper into streaming stock market data with Polygon and JavaScript. See ya.